letter from Mr. President, dear distinguished Senate President, submission of the Supplementary Appropriation Bill 2021. It was with pleasure that I forward here with Supplementary Appropriation Bill 2021, Annex Chair 1, for the kind consideration and approval by the Senate, by the distinguished Senate. Let me seize this opportunity to express my deep gratitude for the cooperation and support of the leadership and distinguished members of the Senate in our collective efforts to contain the COVID-19 pandemic and address the various security and other challenges facing the country. It has become necessary to prepare the 2021 Supplementary Appropriation Bill considering the urgent need to make provision for procurement and administration of COVID-19 vaccines. The availability of COVID-19 vaccines and the procurement terms was still uncertain as at the time of analyzing the 2021 budget. Hence, there was no provision in the 2021 Appropriation Act for the procurement and administration of COVID-19 vaccines. However, the Federal Ministry of Health and the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency have now developed a COVID-19 vaccine program for the country. Under the vaccine program, 70% of eligible Nigerians are to be vaccinated between 2021 and 2022, Annex Chart 2. In addition, our security and law enforcement agencies urgently need to procure additional equipment and other resources in response to the prevalent security challenges across the country. The Ministry of Defense has carefully scrutinized these procurement needs, which the military authorities claim to represent the minimum requirements to secure our country and address current external and internal security challenges. Furthermore, additional funds are required to meet our commitment to treat additional 50,000 patients under the Nigeria Comprehensive AIDS Program in states, NCAPS, as the amount provision in the, 20, in the 2021 Appropriation Bill for this purpose was inexplicably cut by the National Assembly. In order to address the urgent problem of oxygen availability in the country and avoid the potential loss of lives, provision was made for the procurement and installation of new oxygen plants nationwide and repairs of oxygen plants in FCT hospitals. It is also necessary to provide additional funds for public service wage adjustment to cater for sundry wage related issues in the health and other sectors which, if not resolved, can add to the prevalent sense of instability in the polity. The supplementary budget request is for a total sum of $895,842,465,917 Naira only. We propose to fund 445.63 billion Naira of the 83.56 billion Naira required for the COVID-19 vaccine program by drawing on existing World Bank loans, which would be restructured, as well as other grants totaling 113.2 million US dollars and CNX chart 3. The balance of that 7.93 billion naira required for COVID-19 vaccines, salaries, and other health-related expenditures, totaling 41.6 billion naira and 48.2 billion naira current recurrent component of defense security expenditure will be funded by drawing 135 billion naira from some special reserve levy accounts C and Xia 4, which will be captured as revenues to the federal government of Nigeria. We propose to fund the balance of 722.4 billion naira for capital expenditure on defense and security and capital supplementation from new borrowings in the absence of any supplementary revenue sources. Understandably, needs currently abound in many other sectors. However, we have limited the supplementary budget proposal to just these critical and emergency areas of need due to our severe financial fiscal constraints. All other needs will be deferred to the 2021 budget, which we plan to present in September of this year. Given the urgency of the request, I seek the cooperation of the National Assembly, National Assembly for Expeditious Legislative Action on the Supplementary Appropriation Bill 2021. Please accept the Sungu Senate President the assurances of my highest consideration. You are sincerely, Muhammadu Buhari.